This is Mike Nice from the Hip Hop Chronicles, and welcome to my Baltimore City mural web series. Okay, so Mike Nice is like most people in Baltimore City. Every day is a hustle. I wake up, I go to work, get something to eat, and then I go to sleep. One day while driving to work in my zone, I woke up. And when I opened my eyes, I realized my city was not only beautiful, it was a life-size canvas filled with art, history, and culture. And I was going to search the whole city for as much art, history, and culture I could find. Okay, now that we're here, let's get it started. Baltimore is filled with artwork representing people from Freddie Gray to Billie Holiday, representing the work of Malcolm X to Marcus Garvey. But today, we're gonna focus on four generations of one family whose life, works, and contribution to the community has been painted on this wall. So as we stand here on North Fremont with my man, Donnie Glover, just one block from the historical Pennsylvania Avenue, and minutes from where the historical Freddie Gray uprising happened. Now displayed on this wall, it's not just a mural, but it's a family portrait, featuring generations of what's known now as the Baltimore City A-Rabbers. And if you ask any member in this community who's on that wall, this is what you'll hear. You know the people on that wall? Everybody on that. Tell them who they are. Shout out to mad boy, Donald Savoy. Donald Savoy Jr., Anthony, we call him Frog. Shantae, James Chase White. Yeah, Shantae Chase, that's their son, Mom. And that's my Uncle George. Okay. You know what crap mean? Crap. Fruit. The fruit, no, not just fruit. It's the chain, the, the lineage. And which it came from. Everything derived from the man with the white hat. And just as we were admiring the wonderful art on the wall and the history behind it, we get the pleasure of bumping into Mr. James Chase. And he takes time out of his busy day to break down the family art and history behind this mural. It's four generations of a -Rap. My grandfather right there in the middle, his okay. name Donald Savoy. These are my two uncles, Donald Savoy Jr. and Anthony Savoy. And then you got me on the end, James Chase, my you? son, Amar Chase, and my wife on the end, Sean Tate Chase. Up top, that's my uncle George. And um, he the one, like all together collectively, we, we a rabs Baltimore City a rabs right here. Okay. So a guy by the name of Gaia, he's a um, street artist. He came, that's his name right there. He did this mural in 2012 right here. And it was to put up and represent the um, Baltimore City a rabs You know, just something to remember the people that was here and like the generation. So yeah, that's basically what this mural about. Now with so much history in today's changing world, you gotta ask yourself, are there still a rappers working today? Grandfather, he died at like, like 88 years, yo. So I'm sure he was doing, he the one that started it from Elsa. So you know, you know, it's still got my uncle doing it. Both uncles actually still a rappers currently to the day. Okay. Like he actually working on a truck, a watermelon truck right up there on Liberty Heights in um, Liberty and Northern Parkway. Uncle Junior, he um he got a corner over there on um, 28th Street. And you go across 28th Street Bridge and what's that Sisson Street? Mm. Selling watermelons over there. So you know they still act. Few of them left. We trying to keep the legacy going with just those food. Then you know pretty soon in the future we hoping to start up some type of um, little program for youth to come in and learn about horsemanship and stuff like that in the city. The A Rabbit thing. Um, you know get laws. Um, routes set up for the kids to learn to go on, you know what I mean? Learn how to hustle a legal way, you know, go knock on doors, you know what I mean? Had a community involved, mm -hmm. see if they could sell fruit and stuff to the people. Just give them the opportunity, you know what I mean? Lead a horse, groom a horse, ride a horse, all nice. kinds of things, you know what I mean? They don't have that no more, you know what I mean? Right. Everything else is just, you know, it's just a lot of water being poured over their eyes, a big smoke screen, so the kids don't know nothing about that kind of stuff. And it's time to get all the stuff back together again. So, you know, in the future, that's what we're hoping to, to make out this whole situation, you know what I mean? Just to get the youth it. back into it. And, you know what I mean, give them something to do. Take their minds off of all the jewelry, the guns, the drugs, and all that old 
you know that ignorant stuff that's out there that they want our people to die and suffer from. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I believe that in today's society, it, it was built for us to fail. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's up to us since we failed. And if we let everybody else fail, was well, us grown men. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then we can't call each other grown men. Now, as you look around, you may notice that we're in the middle of the city. So you gotta ask yourself, where do they get the fresh fruits? And how do they fix their horses and wagons? I basically connect everything from Pennsylvania to here because um, I go up there and get a lot of fresh produce from the Amish um, people. You know, the stuff comes straight out the um, garden. Well, like out there fields, not garden. You know, they got a lot of fields out there. So a lot of times, you know, we go up there because they, the, they like, they're like the real horse people that's around right now, mm. you know what I mean? So we go up there, we take our horses up there, get shoes and things like that. We get all the wagon work done up there, wheel work, frame and body work, some things that we can manage to fix ourselves. We will do it, but you know, like they the professionals when it comes to that stuff. So, you know, they the ones that we run to when we got all our issues. Like I take my horses up there, get shod, get their teeth work done, you know? But yeah, a lot of times we deal with the armors hand in hand in a lot of situations, you know what I mean? Cause they're free fresher, you know what I mean? You get it straight out the field. And in addition to trying to develop a program that helps the community develop skills and training, the A-Rabbers give back to the community in other ways. I got alpaca, I got pig, I got ducks, chicken, rabbits, goats, a lamb, um, got pigeons in there. We got like a little, a little variety of little animals for the neighborhood. Come out and check. Mm-hmm. You leave them the, pa- the the pumpkin patch every year. Yep, I do the pumpkin patch for the community. For the kids. <laughs> I do a lot of things. I give back to the community. You know what I mean? Well, for the community, I would be where I'm at right now. You know what I mean? They help me. They help mold me. I came up around a nice group of old fellas. You know what I mean? And they taught me. They taught me how to adapt in different situations and all that. But I don't have to go out there and sell a drug. You know what I mean? Kids coming up today. They battling a lot, and you know it's time for a change, man. We gotta fix it. I gotta make it happen. The most important question, can you can you hit that a rabble call for Oh my God, I just knew you was gonna hit me with that one. But I'ma give you one. What a melody, can't love, be just so so, nana, nana. And that's gonna do it for the first edition of the Baltimore City Mural Web Series. The A-Rabbers Preservation Society was created in 1994 to help the Retreat Street Stables comply with city building codes. It is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the support and preservation of Baltimore's horse cart vendors, the A-Rabbers, and functioning horse cart vending, A-Rabbing. We recognize A-Rabbing as an African-American folk tradition an economically viable system and a method of apprenticeship unique to Baltimore. In recent years, some of the last stables and A-Rabbers have not been able to survive. The A-Rabbers Preservation Society is dedicated to helping them continue their vital and autonomous economy without interference. For more information on how you can donate and learn more about the A-Rabbers Preservation Society, visit www.arabbers.com. I'm Mike Nice saying thank you for checking out the first edition of the Baltimore City Mural Miniseries. To find out more information about this web series and my show, visit www.weaa.org. Straight out of the same town. I, I love you. Happy Christmas time! Jumbo! Peaches on Jumbo! Yeah, can't hold it, boom, boom, with the horse and wagon. Come and spend a couple of dollars. Yeah, hey, boom, boom, hello. Emily Fam Low. Yeah, keep going, hello.